Hi, this is Margot Poro from the Western Canadian Learning Network. Can you find the lowest common multiple of two numbers? In this tutorial, you will learn how to find the lowest common multiple using lists, factor trees, prime factors, and Venn diagrams. What is a multiple? The result, answer, or product from multiplying counting numbers. For example, the first four multiples of 3 are 3, the product of 1 times 3, 6, the product of 2 times 3, 9, the product of 3 times 3, and 12, the product of 3 times 4. The first four multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, and 20. Let's use the list method to find the lowest common multiple of 4 and 6. The first step is to list the multiples for each number. Start by listing just the first five multiples. You can work up from there if needed. The first five multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. The first five multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. The second step is to choose the lowest or least common multiple. This is the first multiple that is in both lists. The first number that they have in common is a 12. So we say that the lowest common multiple of 4 and 6 is 12. Every number has its own set of prime factors. No two numbers have the same set of prime factors. What are prime factors? A set of prime numbers multiplied together to make the original number. For example, the prime factors of 18 are 3 times 3 times 2. They can be found at the bottom of a factor tree for 18. Multiplying prime factors found on factor trees is a great way to find the lowest common multiple. Take a look using 15 and 12 as examples. The first step is to create a factor tree for each number. 15 factors into 3 times 5. 3 and 5 are both prime numbers so this factor tree is done. 12 factors into 3 times 4. 3 is prime, but 4 is not prime. To have all prime factors, 4 is broken into 2 times 2, and the 3 is brought down. Step 2. Give the prime factorization of each number. These are the numbers at the end of each line in a factor tree. The prime factors that multiply to make 15 are 3 times 5. The prime factors of 12 are 3 times 2 times 2. Step 3 is to circle the pairs of common prime factors. In this example, both 15 and 12 have a 3 in common. Step 4 is to set up the common and remaining factors as a multiplication question. List the circled common factors only once. Since 3 is common, it is listed once. 5, 2, and 2 are the remaining prime factors. Finally, you can multiply. 3 times 5 times 2 times 2. 3 times 5 is 15, 15 times 2 is 30, and 30 times 2 is 60. We say that the lowest common multiple of 15 and 12 is 60. Now that we have the prime factors for 15 and 12, we can use a Venn diagram to organize them. The middle area is for factor pairs that are common to each number's prime factors. Be careful, each one that goes in the middle area needs a match. 15 and 12 both share one 3 in their list of prime factors. This is the only prime factor of 15 for which 12 has a matching factor. This 3 can go in the center region of the Venn diagram. Each match from the two multiples just needs to be entered once in the center region of the Venn diagram. The 15 also has 5 as a factor, but the 12 does not. It can go in the region for factors that only belong to 15. 12 has two factors of 2 that are not yet in the Venn diagram. They do not have matching 2s that are factors of 15. They go in the region for only factors that belong to 12. Using a Venn diagram helps to make sure that the matching pairs are only used once and to make sure that the other prime factors are also included. To find the lowest common multiple, simply multiply the factors from the Venn diagram. 5 times 3 times 2 times 2. We say that 60 is the lowest common multiple of 12 and 15. Now you can find the lowest common multiple of two numbers. While listing multiples works, using a factor tree to find prime factors is the most reliable method for finding the lowest common multiple. Using a Venn diagram is really helpful to organize the prime factors. 
Thank you for watching this tutorial. This is Margot Poro for the Western Canadian Learning Network.